This Bengaluru layout has a lot of water while the rest of the city struggles with water shortage. In fact, they even sold water to BWSSB. Our classic cottage layout in South Bangalore has saved every drop of water for more than a decade through these community sustainable initiatives. But how does this layout with 400 plus houses built across 71 acres have so much water? By community water harvesting. Community level water harvesting enhances resilience to droughts and water shortages. We do that by maximizing rainwater collection, by reducing the runoff and by providing large storage spaces and by groundwater recharge. They have three fundamentals in place. Uh, one, we have a policy of no bore wells in individual sites. Then we have three large uh, open wells and we have a few community bore wells which we use when there is a distress of supply from uh, BWSSB. This community started the five hours to save water more than a decade ago. Recharge, reuse, reduce, recycle and restore. So we have 70 plus community recharge pits. One of the pits you are seeing here. To restore the old wells that we have. Now the water can be consumed and can be used as a portable water. We use the water for our parks and common areas maintenance. Rethink and reduce where we periodically run the campaigns how to save water, how to reduce the consumption of the water. We do the recycling uh, of the grey water here. Here is the sewage treatment plant where we process 100% of the uh, raw water. How is this water recycled before being reused? Sewage of all the houses comes to this treatment plant that operates 24-7 and processes close to 350 KLD per day. The entire raw water comes into this water tank. It is then pumped into the next station where it undergoes aeration. From there, it goes to this larger aeration tank where sedimentation and processing is done through the aeration technology. The processed water then goes to this external tank where the water is put through a sand filter followed by a carbon filter. The carbon filter is the last step of the process. This is where the foul smell is removed from the treated water. The recycled water is then stored in sumps or underground storage tanks from where it is pumped to multiple storage units across the layout. The STP runs on solar power, reducing the consumption of electricity during the treatment process. This community made some hard decisions. They managed water sustainably and that's how you prepare for climate change.